Coin on. Hello YouTube, this is Robert with CoinOp. Okay, we're going to do some reveal videos. I was requested to have some, so we're going to do it. Now, a reveal video is what we have purchased throughout coin shows here in the greater Cincinnati area. Uh, the beginning of the videos are going to be used. I'm going to use the same format right here. So, if you find out however long this first one is, you can probably skip forward that long and it will be the same on each video. Now, again, these are reveal videos. These are items that I've purchased and they are for sale that will be at our auctions. Now, if you want to participate in our auctions, go to your PayPal and send $5 to heirs to you at AOL.com. Once you do that, if your YouTube name is different than your personal name, leave a little note to let me know what your YouTube name is, and you'll be registered to bid, provided that you make all your payments. You'll only have to register one time. The $5 is non-refundable. However, it's not that we need your $5. We will refund it to you on the first purchase. We'll let you take it off of, it'll most likely be your shipping and handling charges. Um, yes, shipping and handling is extra, so... But that's what this is for. It will be a reveal just to let you see what we have. That's going to be coming up in a future auction. Now, we have a, I've got a ton of other stuff that we sell also because I don't reveal everything. So, um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell. And if you hit the bell, it will notify you anytime we go live. Now, our auctions are going to be Wednesdays at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. With Monday, from time to time, we may have an auction. Next Monday, we're having an auction for a benefit for Greg Arbuckle, a dear friend of the channel who passed away unexpectedly. However, uh, if you hit the bell, you'll be notified anytime YouTube Point Up goes live. And I hope you take and I hope you subscribe. Uh, hope you hit the bell. And I hope to see you at one of our auctions. And without further ado, let's get to our first coin, uh, coin reveal. So, thank you very much and we'll see you shortly. Okay, we're going to start off with a few Filipino coins that I picked up. Uh, a lot of my customers like the Filipinos. This here is the 50 centavos and this is of course of General Patton. I will return he says. Well he did return and got the Philippines back from the Japanese who had conquered them back in uh, back during World War II. Here's another 50 centavos, a little bit better. Uh, I have not looked at these for any kind of varieties. I just don't do it. Um, I like them. They have very minimal uh, mintage. You may want to look that up. Uh, here is the peso. It's a little bit nicer, uh, better condition. Now all these were gotten uh, from one dealer. He's a, he's a nice young man. I picked this up from him in 1890 as soon as the camera decides to participate. It's an 1890 Carson City. It's a little bit lower grade, but you know what? I figured there's going to be somebody in there that is on our uh, website, our auction site, that's going to want this. Nice looking Carson City. Uh, it all looks pretty genuine. Might have been cleaned a long, long time ago, but it still will wear works for what it is. Now, I'm not going to show close-ups of any of these. If you want to look at the close-ups, I will show them whenever I do them at auction. But here's a 1900 O over CC. And soup, if you're watching this, I never, this is not one of them I mentioned. Um, none of these got mentioned, soup. Sorry, just letting you know. Uh, I forgot I got them, actually. This is a 1884 O van 35. Now, this in here. It is a hot 50, but it's not real, real uh, scarce. It's I2 or 3. Uh, it's a doubled eyelid. Um, it is a van, but, you know, some people want to get all the vans, so good luck to them. But there you go. It is uncirculated, uh, lower grade, though. But there you go. There's that one. Another word, one I've not even looked up the van. It's got some color. I don't know what van it is. It is an eight tail feather. The color I took when I first seen it, I said it was artificially colored. I still tend to 
lean in that direction but you know I did notice the colors are going right uh, there's a pattern for the colors for natural toned and artificial and this just happens to have the right pattern for a natural but I'm not gonna give it a natural something just don't feel right so but I am showing it because this is in here I went ahead I picked it up I got it at a decent price it's an eight tail feather if you need to add one to your collection this would be a nice one to add and okay that was all the singles now I picked this up it's a 62 proof 67 now this here is in one of the older PCGS I think it could take and if it was cracked out resubmitted now this is in rough condition the uh, holder but if it was cracked out and resubmitted I think it would go a cameo uh, so it's just my opinion grading is just that an opinion um, yeah it's just one of the older holders so we'll have it at one of the options if you think it's a cameo you want to get it that's fine okay next thing I got I'm gonna have to take in you adjust the camera it's the Kennedy uh, coin and chronicle set I went ahead and picked that up um I don't know how much of that we can show it's got the book and everything in the original government packaging uh, let's see what we can show right there is the silver dollar that comes with it and yeah, I'm not to show it to you funky but there is the proof actually it's a reverse proof that comes in the set and then they take and they give you the stamp all that comes with a set along with some uh, description and like I said it does have uh, I'll show you here it's got a nice little booklet with all the information uh, or a lot of information on JFK so there you go that will be something oopsie sorry about that uh, there we go I think I'll set back it uh, with new things I, I'm trying a new setup everybody so don't get mad <laughs> and then the other thing I really thought was cool was this set now this is the steel sense of the war and this uh, steel case sense from you know at the end uh, somebody said why didn't they have the 42s in it I said well they were copper I think they just wanted the off metal ones nice BU set I paid pretty good for it, but I think it's well worth it. Uh, it's in this set all by itself. I like it. Uh, if I sell it, I do. If I don't, I don't. I mean, they're all BUs. But it will be coming up at an auction site near you. Don't forget how to take and go back to the beginning if you want to know how to register. But that's it for this video. We'll have more coming down the road. Thank you.